In this video, we're going to play around with how to set a dynamic height on the bars. As you can see here, right now we are expanding the bar, or at least we are adding new bars on here. But the moment we have too many bars at 15 or beyond, at that moment we are going to expand or increase the height of the bar chart. And as you can see here, as we click on it, and this is to avoid that these values here are not being too collapsing or too condensed on each other. So let's explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to set dynamic height for bar chart in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to resize the chart and maintain aspect ratio in Chart.js. And then if we scroll down here, you can see this question came from ICAF. A special thank you to ICAF for asking the question. And this is what ICAF asked. Any tips on how to have dynamic height? For example, I have a horizontal bar chart and some scenarios, there are many data points. So the labels are very compressed on the y-axis. Is there any way to let the div height expand dynamically? And yes, there is. So let's start to look at how to do this. First of all, we're going to get our default code here. Make sure you go to chartjs3.com getting started, where you're going to get the default code. For some reason, my Google Chrome gives this error here. However, it works on the other computers and also on Firefox. Anyway. We're going to copy this chunk of code here. This is what we need. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So we're going to paste this chunk of code here. And I'll just move the title in here. There we are. And then once we did that, we can save and refresh the page. And now we have our bar chart here. However, we need to have a horizontal bar chart. So I'm going to convert it into a horizontal bar chart quickly. So we say here, index axis equals the y axis now. So if you do that, save that, we swap this, there we are. So now we have this here. So to do or to change the height of the bar, we need to remove something that will be counteracted, which is the maintain aspect ratio so we're going to set this on false the moment we do this you will see that the chart might respond unexpectedly so as you can see here right now it does like this this is fine and what we want to do here the width this could be anything so we can say here width is that will be fine and probably what i want to do here just to make it mobile responsive we're going to say here 80 percent so we're going to save this and refresh here and this works fine and if we would reduce it you will see it will automatically reduce as well and expand so this is very nice however height i'm going to set here a height and this height will be 350 pixels so if i save this now and refresh you can see here now we get this bar chart and we need this height if you don't do this you might sometimes experience that this chart or chart edge will just expand into infinity so you might need to have a fixed height here and this height will be our guideline now this is very important so what we're going to do now is basically we're going to put in here some values or what i want to do here is a button and this button is basically our function it will be triggered on click and we'll just say you add bar and the item what we want to do eventually is we want to keep on adding bars and then eventually once we hit a certain point of bars at that moment you want to expand because right now you have only seven if you would have here another one it should it doesn't need to expand because it the value is suitable now so 350 pixels in height would be more sufficient for maybe 15 bars and after that we want to expand so let's start to put in here this and then we say here add bar and just to make it very simple i'm going to just grab this function here we're going to put in here this so we say add bar here, and then we're going to say here my chart. It's going to grab this one here. That's this constant here, my chart dot. And what we're going to do is we go for config, and from config here we go to the data, and from data here we're going to add a new label, and of course add a new da uh, data set with a new data here. So we just push them in there. So we say config dot uh, data, and then we say dot labels, and then here the labels we need to do dot push. And push should not be an equal sign but it's this and here i'll just say new new bar very simple and then the next one is as well same methodology here but then this will be our data set 
zero because we only have one data set and then we say data and then push here we can push a value in let's say number one or let's say number five six is fine so if you do this you say my chart dot update save this refresh we have a button and this should now update here as you can see here the moment we had like this i think there's almost 15 bars or more at that moment it gets too much so from that moment on we want to start expanding it so how do we do this so remember chart.js is still a part of javascript and javascript or at least this div here is css and remember that JavaScript can communicate with Chart.js, which is basically the Canvas API, but also with CSS. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to measure how many bars we have. And we're going to combine it all together. So if there would be the length of a certain amount of bars, at that very moment, we want to change that. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to say here, first of all, we get the default height. So this is basically CSS related items. And I want to get here a default height, which I will say here a let chart height equals 350. Why 350? Our item here is 350 in the chart box. And then eventually you want to adjust that. But we don't want to grab this value here because later on, if we will update this, this will basically automatically increase as well. So we don't want that. So we want a hard coded value, which is this one here. And this is exactly matching with the CSS. So once we have this, what we want to do is the following. We need to make sure we're going to have a constant here. And this constant will calculate how many bars we have. So the total bars constant. And this constant will be basically this here. And then we say dot length. So we calculate how many values are in the array. Or how many bars are in there. And we can calculate based on the length. And I realize it should not be on the data. It should be on the labels. Why labels? Because the labels determine how many bars there will be. So this is why labels. So once we have this here, and we can do a console.log, we can calculate then how many bars we have. So save this, refresh. And then, oh, no, i just put this back here. So then if we click on this, you can see here we have 8, 9, 10, 15. Let's see when we are hitting the maximum amount. All right, so at 17 we hit. But let's say at 15 it should be more than sufficient because after that it becomes too narrow. So at 15 we want to do anything or everything beyond 15. So what we're going to do here is very, very straightforward. We're going to say here constant. And then we say here the chart box. So we can do chart box. And remember here, we're just basically getting the class name that is this here, the chart box class. And what I really want to do now is that we want to reassign the size of the div. And what we're going to do here, or specifically the height of the div. So we say here chart box equals documents dot uh, query selector. So basically what we're saying is selector uh, is go and search in a document. A query means a search. Search for a selector, and the selector is in this case the div here, the div with the class name of chart box, including the capital B here. So we say here query selector string, so string quotation dot chart box, because we're looking for this class. If you have multiple classes, in that case, you might need to change this to, into an ID or you give it a unique class. But I guess then in that case, an ID would be more appropriate. So then we have this here. Once we have this, then we can say the following. If our total bars is larger than 15, in that case, what I want to do here, I want to set a new height. And a new height will be basically this here equals the total bar or total bars minus 15. All right, so we want to check here this but what we want to do here if there would be more than 15 we need to do minus 15 why we have a default of 350 and then any other bar add on will be plus 20 pixels that's what we're going to do here so we say this first calculate here so if there would be 16 bars there will be then this value will become one and there we say multiply by 20 pixels and then we say plus what exactly the 
chart height, which is this 350 pixels here. You can say chart height or 350, doesn't matter. This is basically a hard-coded value that we get from our CSS. So once we have this, there we are. Let me say here, chart box dot style dot height. And basically what we're doing now is in JavaScript, we're going to just go into CSS because we can control CSS through JavaScript directly. And then we say here, this will be equal what exactly the new height let me say this new height will be plus then we have to do here concatenation of pixels because in css we need to say the chart height always plus pixels why because look at this here we need to have here the value or the number plus the pixel string value so that's what we're doing here so once we did this we have that and then in that case we're done here and what we can do here as well of the console log just to show let me say here chart box dot style dot height so you will see now this will be incremented as well all right so once we have this here we want to make sure that this update will be done here at the very end we update that here so now if we save this refresh all right so nothing happens here now it starts to happen and let's see here do we have an update i realized that maybe we need a console log for this if console log all right oh, nothing happens yet i guess that's all right so let's add up here and the moment we hit here there you are so the moment we hit 16 this is number 16 we are now starting to expand our horizontal bar chart and now you can see instead of 350 pixels it is now 370 because it's plus 20. and here again it keeps on adding up as you can see here, it adds up, it adds up, etc., etc. So with this, we can play around with it. And then if we would make this smaller, it should also match nicely here. There we are. And then if we expand this again, it goes as well. So with this, you can play around everything. And if you would reset this back to original, because remember, it is an if statement here, we will compare if something would be that. Then it will automatically go back here or maybe we should just say here well oh no uh, the chart height is already this so what we might need to do here is in case this if we go back here this should be set back to chart height we set this back to chart height and then we have like this here because this will be only triggered on if statement so if i save this now let's double check if we get everything here well, all right, can I access chart box before initialization? What is the chart box? Fair enough. We forgot about that. Move this down. So we have it like this. Save that and then refresh here. And then we have this. This will just do nothing until we hit here. Then if we would have here a reset, go back here, remove the amount of items, then you will see it will jump back again. So this is basically how you can play around with it. Because what we're just doing here is playing around with CSS. So if you like this video and you enjoy this, I would also recommend you to maybe check out this one where we change or how to change the horizontal bar to a vertical bar chart based on screen size. So imagine that we have your mobile size, then maybe you want to have this horizontal. And if you have on a desktop computer, you might have this again back to vertical bars, which is also a quite interesting topic.